Welcome to part three of my Black Sea series. Today, we're going to do something fun, rigging the ships. To do this, you'll need a bobbin of thread, which comes with the kits. Also gel super glue, which is going to be your best friend. A small pair of scissors, like what you would get in a manicure kit. A handful of toothpicks to manipulate the gel super glue. And some tweezers for hard to reach areas. Strongly consider varnishing your ships before starting this so that you do not pull off any of the paint. The Black Seas rulebook has a really good guide on how to rig and I'm going to be following that very closely. Rigging is fairly tricky so make sure you consult this guide or pause this video along the way to prevent any missteps. I'm going to start off by rigging the front of the ship right here. I'm going to start at the base of the foremast and then move under the main top and then finish off at the base of the bowsprit. I start by making a simple knot, make it nice and big and loose like this. And it should be big enough that you can thread it over the foremast like this, past all the yards, and get all the way to the base. Once at the base, go ahead and tighten it at the very bottom. Apply some gel super glue with your toothpick. The beauty of gel super glue is that it allows you to manipulate the string a little bit, but when it sets, it holds nice and firm. Next, loop it around the main mast underneath the main top. Guide it along the front and then loop it around the base of the bowsprit right here. You can loop it around once or twice, it's up to you. And after you do that, you'll want to apply light tension to the string, but don't overdo it or you might bend the mast. Then apply some gel super glue to the bowsprit and let it set while under tension. Apply some super glue to the string underneath the main top and then snip off the loose ends. You always want to keep the loose ends fairly long so it's easy to manipulate and you can cut them off later. The next rigging is fairly easy. What you'll want to do is tie a string between the base of the main mast to under the mizzen top. So what you want to do is cut a piece of string and then super glue it to the base of the main mast like this and then hold it in tension until it sets. Loop it around under the mizzen top, apply some super glue, and then put it in tension until everything sets. And then again, snip off the ends. And this should be it for this rigging step. Now the next stage is the one with the most steps. What you're going to do is you're going to connect this area under the whisker booms to this area underneath the fore top. Continue to the main top gallant yard. Continue to the mizzen top gallant yard. Then route it down to underneath the mizzen top sail yard and then end underneath the main top. Once again, form a simple knot and give it a fairly large loop. And what you'll do is you'll work it into the bowsprit and get it behind the whisker booms. Apply some gel super glue with a toothpick, pull until it sets, and then you can let it go and move to the next step. Next, you'll want to route it underneath the fore top, and then crisscross it to the other side when you go past the main top gallant yard, and then crisscross it again to go across the mizzen top gallant yard. Now keep the string taunt with some pressure in the line, and then apply gel super glue to all the areas crossed on the tops and the yards. Now crisscross it again, and then go underneath the mizzen top sail. Give yourself several inches of line, and then cut it. Route it through where the main top is, route it around like this, and then while applying some light pressure, apply gel super glue to this area, apply tension and allow it to set, and once it's set, you can let it go. And then just snip off the excess string on both ends. Now even when you try to apply constant pressure, sometimes some of the lines will go slack. What you can do is retension it by applying some gel super glue onto the lines that are slack and then just apply some pressure to it against the mass and after it sets you should have tension in the line again. Next are the backstay riggings. Wallard Games prescribes only the royal backstays and I agree it makes the model less busy. There are two ways to do this and I will show you both. One is the no drilling option. What you will do is cut a length of string you want to give yourself enough to work with. Tie a simple knot and then what you'll do is put it over the mass you want to start with. In this case, it's going to be the main mast. Apply some super glue, tension it, pull it until it sets. And then after that, instead of drilling a hole, what you can do is pick a feature on the hull, like for instance, this cannon. And then with super glue and a toothpick, you kind of force the string against that feature and hold it in place until it sets. And then do it on the other side. 
And this actually works really well if you don't want to drill your model. It makes your backstays look really convincing and sometimes it's the easier option. At the end, always clip off any excess string and then repeat for the next mast. Another option is to drill holes for your backstays by drilling it into the hull in these three areas right here. Behind the mizzen mast, the main mast and the foremast. I use a citadel drill and I use the smallest bit which I think is a 1mm bit and then I pick areas that are clear, that don't have any guns or anything else, that is slightly rearward of the mass, and then I go ahead and drill the backstay holes in those areas. You have to be fairly careful, and you have to make sure that you're drilling in areas where it can poke all the way through, or else you might damage the model. So be careful and pick your locations with care. Similar to the no drill option, you'll want to cut a length of thread and then form a simple knot and then place it over the mass that you're working on. Apply super glue to the top gallant. Next, you'll want to guide the thread through this hole here, which is just rearward of the mast. If you wet the thread with your mouth or some water, it would allow it to thread through much easier. And before applying tension, be sure that it's not tangled anywhere. Once everything is clear, pull on it and then maintain some tension. Take a toothpick with some gel super glue and then basically just stick it into the hole and rotate the toothpick a little bit and pull it out after a few seconds, allow it to set and when you let it go, the backstay should be in place. Do the same with the other side, repeat the process, use tweezers if you have to, just in case anything's hard to reach, put some glue in, allow it to set and both your backstays are ready. You would do this process for the main mass and the mizzen mass but you would want to skip the foremast. That backstay goes on later so it doesn't get in the way. Onward to the next rigging, you'll want to start at the mizzen top gallant yard and then after that move to the main top gallant yard, to the fore top seal yard and then end at the gammon iron. Begin with a loose simple knot and you will be putting this over the mizzen top gallant yard. Very similar to how you did the backstay in the previous step. Route it over one side of the main top gallant yard then to the opposite side of the main top sill yard and then work your way down to the gammon iron and then wrap it around once or twice. Apply some light tension to the line and then put some gel super glue onto the gammon iron. Work your way backwards and put glue onto all the yards as well. Once you are sure everything is set, you can go ahead and snip off all the excesses on both ends. On towards the back half of this process, you'll want to start at the main top gallon yard move to the four top gallon yard and end at the whisker booms. Start with a simple knot at the main top gallon yard. Go ahead and apply some glue, let it set, and then put it down the main top gallon yard, bring it down to the whisker booms, and then wrap it around a flying jig boom once or twice. Apply some light tension to the line and then come back with some gel super glue, put it on the flying jig boom, apply it to the main mast, and then after that, just clip off any excess thread. The next rigging will go from the main top gallant mass down to what is called the flying jib downhaul and then down to the dolphin striker. Again, set a simple knot on the top of the top gallant yard, tighten it, apply some glue, apply some tension to it until it sets. Next, apply the gel super glue onto the flying jib downhaul, apply light tension to the line and then wrap it once or twice around that area. Apply glue to the dolphin striker and then put it around the dolphin striker like this and you can wrap it once or twice around that as well and it just helps everything stay in place better. Apply tension until it sets and then snip off all the excess. After this, you can install the four mass royal backstay. Simply follow the same steps as the rest of the backstays which I did a few steps ago. Go ahead and do it for this four mass and after that, this step should be done. Onward to the finishing touch which is the bowsprit. I will first cover how to do this with first and third rates. You'll want to start at the port cat head, go up to the whisker booms, and then come over to the starboard cat head. Cut a generous length of string that you can work with, and then what you will do is route it around the bottom of the whisker boom like this, and then wrap it around the tops of the boom on both sides. Apply some gel super glue so it can stay in place, apply some tension, and then once it's set, go ahead and apply gel super glue onto the cat head and then tension the thread over the cat head like this. Basically lead it with your finger, put it over the cat head, and then apply tension, light tension, until it sets. 
and then you would do it on the opposite side apply glue put the thread in place apply tension and it will be set snip off the excess and then after that you can move on to the next step next you will be applying rigging to the flying jib boom downhaul to the, both the whisker booms on one side and then to the cat head start with a generous amount of thread create a simple knot and tie it around the flying jig boom downhaul and then with a toothpick apply some gel super glue to that area apply tension until it sets and then after that what you'll do is you'll apply super glue to both the whisker booms the one fore and aft and then with a steady hand you would wrap around the thread once around one whisker boom apply tension until it sets and then move on to the second whisker boom and do the same thing there afterwards apply some glue to the cat head tension it around the cat head like you did with the earlier step and then apply tension with either with a toothpick or your hand until it sets cut off any excess and you would basically repeat the process on the other side if you started with port you would move on to starboard and then just repeat the steps all over again make sure that everything is glued in tension and then you should be done for frigates like the uss constitution it's just a little bit different you would apply it to the flying jib boom downhaul right here apply some glue and the only difference is you will be applying this rigging only to one whisker boom and not a second set of whisker booms so here you would wrap it around once allow it to set and then after that go straight to the cat head put glue on it apply light tension with a toothpick or your hand and let it set and then repeat the process on the other side once you're done with this basically all your rigging steps are complete and your ship is ready for sales here is your rotating view so you can see how all the rigging is rigged up you can definitely apply a lot more rigging to make it look like a quote-unquote real ship but honestly for a tabletop model this level of rigging keeps things fairly simple and uncluttered and it really suits the purpose i hope you will join me in my next video where i will be applying sails rat lines pennants and ensigns to these ships see you then